Building on our last video over the columns principle, in this video I will be going over the 10 types of acetabular fractures according to the Jude and Letronelle classification. This was a topic that I learned as a fourth year on rotation and thought I could review it here for those of you who are about to start an orthopedic rotation soon and are looking to get familiar with topics that you will inevitably have to digest down the line. To start, here are the 10 types listed. There are five elementary and five associated fracture patterns. Now you might be wondering what elementary and associated mean with reference to the acetabular fractures. So first, let's quickly review what we mean by that. An elementary acetabular fracture refers to fractures that have a single fracture surface or plane, whereas associated acetabular fractures have two or more fracture surfaces or planes. You will see this drawn out as we look at the five types in each. Going over the elementary types first, the five elementary patterns include anterior wall, anterior column, posterior wall, which is the overall most common type of acetabular fracture, and then of course posterior column, and transverse. You can see each here. Then the five associated patterns are transverse with posterior wall, which is the most common associated type. You have T-type, posterior wall, posterior column, anterior column with posterior hemitransverse, and both column, which you can appreciate here. Alrighty, I just wanted to show you all the 10 types so that way you can be at least familiar with the 10 types of acetabular fractures. You will have to sit with these for a minute to digest them for rotations, but I know that you will all do great and stand out on rotations as rock stars. See you all in the next one.